We have new numbers on the unemployment front. Here in California, nearly 50,000 people filed initial claims last week. That is 6,600 fewer than the previous week. So what can we expect next year when it comes to employment and the economy? Michael Burnick, the state's former EDD director, is with us now. And Michael, let's first talk about wages. We saw them increase in the private sector jobs earlier this year. What are you expecting uh, as far as next year? Will that continue? I think so. By far, it's the most positive impact of the pandemic. We've seen wage gains nationally of 4.2%, uh, higher than the pre-pandemic time. Uh, wage gains across sectors, but Alan, particularly, particularly we've seen strong wage gains, the strongest wage gains among lower wage workers in California in retail, service, certified nurse assistants. Um, the lower wage jobs have seen the highest wage gains, and that's very, very positive. And I think that'll continue, especially given what we're seeing about the very tight labor market in our state. Yeah, that'll get more people back to work. We've talked a lot about worker shortages this year. Do you think things will change on that front next year? Well, hopefully, as of October, the last day of October, the most recent data, we had over 1.1 million, 1.1 million job openings in the state. So we've continued to see a very slow return to work. Uh, there was expectation first in June and then September that workers would come back, and they really didn't in any large numbers. The same in October and November and December. So it's been a very slow return to work. We have a very high number, uh, the highest number we've seen since the uh, survey began, the highest number in terms of jobs per unemployed worker. And um, certainly you talk to California employers and they, across sectors, they need workers. And when it does come to unemployment, California lagging behind some other states, do you see the unemployment rate shrinking next year? I think it'll go down slowly. Our rate is 6.9%. That is the highest in the nation, but it has gone down um, significantly over the past year. Just over the past year, we've gained over 970,000 payroll jobs. Um, that's the greatest gain we've seen in a, a year period. Uh, at the same time, Alan, we've only gained, we're still only 70% of the jobs we had prior to the pandemic. So I think we still have good room for growth. I think the pace of job growth will slow. Well, finally, let's talk about the remote work. Do you, do you think more people will be returning to the office or the working from home thing, more of a permanent change we should get used to? I'm here every day, but I'm the outlier. Um, I think what we're gonna see is some people, a very small number of people like me who come in every day, and some people who don't come in at all, and um, a lot of people who come in maybe two or three days a week. It's, it's very interesting. Um, there are a lot of questions concerning the pace of wage gains in 2022, concerning inflation, the rate of inflation, concerning um, the return to work. But one thing that's certain, that there's no question about that 2021 has changed, is this finally uh, a true movement to remote work. Absolutely. Well, Michael Vernick, as always, thanks so much for the insight. Thank you.